Welcome back to your number one rugby podcast. You know what it is, eh? Oh, yeah, at the iconic Emirates Airline Park. I'm Juan de Jong, and next to me, the one and only. I am Rudy Page, guys, oh. and today we got something new. We got Ace. something exciting. We are walking on the field here, wow, partner. Hey. Huh? Emirates Airline Park, a hey, fantastic, incredible um, stadium. I mean, they had a crack of a game yesterday as well, um, you know, playing the Sharks, having a good result. But just to come out here to see and to feel this vibe is it's incredible. And just having the invite, man, I mean, this place has got mm. so much history. Um, the 1995 World Cup, I've made my junior, played my junior rugby. Yeah. Uh, the stadium is in fantastic shape. Um, fantastic shape yeah. The Lions are backing it up currently with the performances they're putting in. We're obviously going to get yeah, stuck yeah, into yeah, that yeah, later on. Yeah. But just being here, having the invitation, and uh, the doors are open for us. Mm. Um, I'm excited for this episode. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm super excited. Something new, uh, like you guys can see, you know, we want to taste the grass. Like you said, hey. with Loftus, you want to taste the grass mm-hmm. to see if Kurtley scored in the corner, and he did. And it he did. did. He scored in the corner, man. But yeah, fantastic. Um, but before we move on, obviously, we want to talk about our family. Um, guys, Behind the Rack is powered by Kruger International Asset and Wealth Management. Guys, go check them out. A um, lot of good things. I mean, myself and Rudy, uh, we obviously part of them. And um, also, our stuff is there. Okay, so our assets are there, our wealth is there. So follow us and um, go check them out. They will put their website down below and um, yeah, we're going to chat about them. We will have uh, obviously one of the directors coming in, uh, Mia, soon, just to give you guys an overview, especially as young upcoming um, athletes, it's important, yeah. And also um, our official betting partner, Lula Bet. Same, uh, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't Come change. On. They're consistent, <laughs> like, like very consistent. Exactly. Like Andre Pollard at the penalty is <laughs> yep. consistent, yeah. So guys, yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic to have everyone. And, and, and Rakas, this week, I just want to make a special mention yep. to Cherry South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. for jetting us around Johannesburg and Gauteng mm. in Pretoria the past week. Yeah. The car they've put us in partner was awesome. So thank you, Cherry South Africa, you, for, for making sure that. that we could go from point A to, to point, point B. B. And be safe and have a seatbelt on. Exactly. We had seatbelts on. We had seatbelts, man. <laughs> um, and that's important, yeah. So to everyone that, that obviously are a part of Behind the Rack and then yeah. make sure that we are on the line and that sort of thing, thank you so, so thank much. You, yes, yeah. um, Partner, I quickly want to give them the lineup for this episode. Yeah, yeah, give us the lineup, yeah. Um, it's quite simple, guys. Today we're gonna have a special guest. Mm. We're gonna have a superstar. Mm. He's currently on fire in Johannesburg. That's the reason why we are here today. Guys, we got Sanele and Ohamba oh, on the wow. episode. Mm. He is absolutely brilliant. Everything he touches currently is turning to gold. Yeah. He's making sure that people are coming back to Ellis Park. He's making sure that he's probably gonna fill this yeah. place and hopefully get a top eight uh, yeah. for the for the Lions. Yeah, yes. So it's gonna be Sanele. No, mm. Guys, I'm excited to talk about yeah. URC after oh, that, okay? There was a big was game like this Saturday yeah. at Loftus as yeah, well, yeah, where we got one yeah, over the yeah, storm. Yeah, yeah. We'll, okay? We'll get into that as um, well. And then we'll also um, uh, get our, our uh, little bit predictions, making sure we cover a little bit of six nations, see those games coming up. And um, yeah, I'm excited. It's and we've like got to talk about the Lions-Sharks game that happened three o'clock this on past this Saturday field. on this field. Um, the Lions are getting something right, so we're going to mm. get stuck into those games. But guys, that's the episode yeah, in a yeah, nutshell, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, so settle down, relax, get your coffee, mm. get your beer. I don't care what you do. It is morning, afternoon, or evening. evening. Enjoy this, okay? Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up next, San Eleno Amba. Let's go. Rakus, partner. We got the moment. Oh, man, we are here in the beautiful place. We got the superstar of Johannesburg currently. He's on fire. He's like a volcano, guys. I'm going to welcome our superstar in today's episode. San Eleno Amba. Welcome, buddy. Amba. <laughs> nah, good, eh? nah, good. All chill, all chill. All good, eh? Yeah. Just Life's good? 100%, uh, yeah. loving Joe work. Uh, loving Joe work? Yeah. And how's the body feeling after crack of a game yesterday? Oh, no, it's good, eh? Um, you know, I, I pride myself on my recovery. Oh, yes, um, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. And you know, you're making a lot of big hits, especially in that vacuum chair. Yeah, 100%. Uh, yes, yes. Um, so Dubai, the shoulder. Dubai, Let's, we are honest. <laughs> big hits. Big hits. Huh? Big hits. Not, magic man. Big hits is not meant for nines, guys, uh, okay? <laughs> we more like a speed bump. Don't you agree? Or? No, like, it's. Generation is different. Oh, I apologize. Oh, yeah. You're a magic man. Eh? Is it? Yeah. And yeah. look at this, eh? Messi. Ah, no, he's looking look. good. He had for the Russell, you know, on full uh, contact, you know. Messi of rugby, <laughs> that's why he's wearing this today, okay? No, no. He's, he's the Messi of the Lions. <laughs> He's the, he's the man, man. Yeah. No. Koiki, how are we doing, first of all? Are you good? Life's good? 
No, nah, life's good. Family's good. Um, yeah, life outside rugby is great. Um, no, I can't complain about much. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah. Um, I also would not complain, partner. Yeah. Um, Rakers 4010 at home. Yeah. Um, Emirates Airline Park. Um, life must be brilliant, brilliant at the moment, yeah. Anir. Um, Rugby-wise, let's start there. Rugby-wise, are you happy with your performance this past Saturday against the Sharks as a team overall? Oh, yeah, I think... Um, Obviously, we had the, the week off um, after the Bulls game. There were some tough discussions that we had um, after our performance against the Bulls. And I think the one message that uh, we had amongst the group is to let the shackles off and play, man. Um, doesn't, uh, we don't want to kick too fussy in the boys, you know. Yeah, we got something yeah, coming back here. Yeah, he's going to bring it back with interest. So <laughs> if you have the ball, he doesn't have to make a ball. He has to make the tackle. Yeah. So I think that's the, that's the main thing that we... We, we, that came out the, the tough discussions we had. It's like, let's keep ball in play. Yeah, yeah let's run them off their feet and, 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 and have fun, yeah. Mm. If you score more points, you win. You win 100%. Yeah. And talk about your form. Okay, you've had a crack of a season. I mean, with the two of us um, on our podcast, you know, we've been just praising you in terms of how you've done the past couple of weeks. How's your adjustment actually been this past couple of um, games? And, um, you know, getting the results and taking those clutch little penalties and free kicks and stuff? No, I think... Um, if you look at it from from the outside in, it looks like uh, it's just me or, or whatever it is. But it's just thing. I think the guys around me, uh, Marius, Eddie, Franks, um, that building that connection on the field, I think it, it it helps a lot. So when I wanna try things, I know they they already they they, yeah, they stay they loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stay loaded. So even the coaches, I think uh, they'll be more upset with me if. I don't try something and like, is it? Yeah, if I if I stay in my box and I see yeah. maybe I could have done something, but then I just chose the safer, safer option. option. Just I think they gave me that that, that sort of freedom. Um, just try it out if it works. It works. If it doesn't work, we back each other up. Yeah. That's like actually to you. And has that been the reason? Obviously, your form at the moment is at such a level that um, I think people tune in to watch you and the Lions play. It's an attractive brand of rugby. It's really good on the eyes. Um, that freedom, is that the main ingredient to the way the Lions are performing and the way you are playing at the moment? Freedom, is that the main word? Freedom in, 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 in decision making? It's part of it. Um, obviously, you have to get the balance. But you have to, at some stage, you have to defend. At some stage, you have to stay in the kicking battle. Yeah. Or at some stage, you have to attack, I think. Freedom to make those decisions and those aspects, I think, um, is one thing. I think um, the one thing that the guys emphasize, especially on playmakers, 9s, 10s, 12s, 15s, um, yet the Lions, is they do what you want, but just get the boys in the right areas. You know what I mean? So. And also brotherhood as well, because it looks like you guys are happy. Um, this, this, you guys, the way you guys are playing on the field, it looks like you guys are happy on off the field. You're feeling that piece of belonging. You all, everyone's on the same page. Do you, do you agree that is the the, the, the feeling camp? No, yeah, 100%. I think um, um, just to give you a typical example, Tuesday after training, um, back spin for lunch. Um, have a lekker lunch, beer keys. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, lekker. Um, yeah, you have to connect. You have to connect. <laughs> I, then I know uh, on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So but be, be I think rugby. stuff like that. It's um, it, it really works for us, you know. Spending yeah, more time together, time together yeah. especially you would know. Um, Joburg, some guys stay in Pretoria, some guys stay. Uh, oh. So yeah, yeah. So quite a drive and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So the guys actually put in effort. I to, was just about to ask that. Is the effort going into spending time together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot, yeah. Uh, there's a lot. Um, we always try um, after training, go grab a, a lunchy here or there, um, whether it's the whole team or back. So just the four is doing their own thing, probably yeah. split braai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, I think. Uh, I like a characters as well in the squad, yeah. yeah it will be having himself, eh? Edo. Mm. Yes, yeah, so Edo. Is he showing you a celebration after it? Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the group yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a lacquer group, especially yeah. the twins as well. You know, that funny characters. Oh, yeah. Talking about ca funny characters, even the coaching staff too. Like oh. Jack Foody. I from the, we had the privilege of playing with Jack Foody, Mona Stein as well. And the impact they have done on you especially, Mona Stein, you know, kicking at clutch moments, especially you know, at, in, in Durban, you know, eight, um, 18 all, penalty to, to, to win it or conversion to win it. 
What, what does this impact towards you and, and Jock Free? I think Coach Jockey uh, on D, I think it, it reflects to when I was still watching him play. You could see him on D. He's like, uh, yeah, I was pleased to play with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He, he bailed you out a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, he, like, I think going into the game, um, you know what's coming. Um, there, there's a saying you say, you know what's coming, you still have to stop it, but at least it's taking you to that first step. Yeah that you know what's coming, then you just need to stop it. But with Moras, uh, when he came in, um, he didn't try to cha uh, try change how I kick or... Yeah. More than anything, it's just... Um, he added something on it. Just all the time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Small yeah. things, yeah. Yeah, so I think he didn't try to change how, how I kick. It was like, stay you, buddy. Um, but then he just gave me triggers to check. Um, because he, he's got a saying that says you can't cover everything. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You can't cover everything. Must be spaced somewhere. 100%. So as a, as a 10 or 9, I don't know what's happening. So. Uh, uh, that's my next question. Yeah, nice. uh, uh, uh. yeah, yeah. Jump the gun a little bit. Definitely, man. <laughs> I'll start going to Brantley more. Okay? Um, favorite, what is your favorite position currently, man? Is it 9? Yeah. Is it 10? Equally, that's what you really nine. good at the moment. I think equally, I'll give two reasons. At 10, you run a little bit less. Less? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, less, yeah. You use the counter, is that? Yeah, just no. give it to okay. Q. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, uh -huh. Q and does the magic. But nine, yeah, you gotta move. Then it yeah, gets nine, you then cover case. Stuff, yeah. yeah, but then you're in the mix. Yeah, you're in the all mix. involved yeah. all the time. You're close to everything. Mm. So, uh, better both, but each comes with its own, you know. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. pick your heart. Yeah. And though I enjoy it's it. It's a tough one. I mean, you've played nine most of your career, isn't it? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think uh, looking back, um, like background-wise, primary school, mm. nine and ten, um, then got the privilege to go to DHS, and then uh, had this one gun nine. This is really good. Uh. So, uh, try it ten. Ten. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Luckily, he was he was my age, but a grade yeah. a grade above. So. Oh, he, he left, left early. early. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think uh, at school played played bit of both. So mm. when the coaches like asked me to transition between the both, I think that background sort of yeah, sort of helps helps, uh, yeah. uh, helps her a little bit. Forward, yeah. And definitely comfortable. I remember fondly when I watched you the first time, Craven Week. Um, yes, I, I, I was sitting with Opama Wadje. Played, for, I don't, I, it, I was either in the main game the first or the second day. But at Saints, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at Saints. We played for the Sox. Oh my gosh. And I told Opa that day, I've not seen a kid who's got so much time that makes most of the right decisions, all the flipping time, and he's still so young. Um, let's talk about DHS. Let's talk about your youth a little bit. Um, how, let me say, DHS, playing nine, playing 10. What does Anneli, let's say, what does Anneli want to play like? What type of rugby? How do you see rugby? I, I just see it as a... Um, it's, it's actually a little bit different um, from moving to Joburg and staying alone in Joburg. Okay. Not much family. You, like, you get to find yourself a little bit. Um, but also just a DHS, I think, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Scott Matthew. Um, yeah. Yes? Yeah, that's my dad. That um, I think it's one guy who actually took me under his arm. Um, Show me the ropes, you know. He was, he was, did you play against him? I, I don't think so. I think he stopped when I got onto the scene. Oh, yeah. So he's a guy that actually um, took me to the rugby side of things, you know. Um, um, show me the tricks of the trade, you know. Mm. He, he played for Sale. He played for Kings a little bit. Mm. Kings on the rise, baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think um, he's, he's one guy that was very influential in my game. And he always said to me, Never be predictable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that keep, the main? Is guessing. that the main thing he taught you from a scrum point of view? Unpredictability. Just in, in a, like overall. Okay. Because even at school I was dabbling a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's just. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's I'm very fortunate just to have a coach like that. And where did Sanella grow up? Where were you born? Youth a little bit, family-wise. Oh yeah. Where is that? It's in a uh, small town called Ellis, at the game. Ellis? Yeah. Ah. University of Forte. Yeah. They were just chatting Eastern just Cape. now. Mm. Varsity Shield, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I grew up there. Um, family's there. I think 
literally everyone. The Nama family was there. Um, I think I fell in um, love with rugby. At, uh, there's a there's a league called Sunday League Village Clubs. Yeah. Yeah, so I used to watch my uncles, watch my dad a little bit play. Okay. Um, so my, my fondest memory is just playing on the side there with the other kids while... Yeah, yeah, while the, 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 yeah, 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 it was, the, yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, the field is, is just grass on the one end, one end, one end, and it's just sandy. Ah, the lecker. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, growing up in Ellis, I think yeah. it's, uh, no, it, it is amazing. Um, yeah, I had my whole family there, brothers, sisters, uh, my mother, my father. Yeah, it, it, it was just great, you know, especially when you come from a small town. Yeah, yeah. You have so much fun and you don't, you don't, you don't know anything yeah. else outside the town. And yeah. And how old were you when you, when you got a little bit introduced to the game? I think maybe like, like uh, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Eight, yeah, nine, yeah. yeah. Early. That's a good, yeah. yeah. And were like, was rugby like massive in, in Ellis or was it more soccer and other sports? If, if you think about it now, um, in, in Eastern Cape, there's no soccer uh, in high schools there. If you look at Dale, Sol, Warren. What? I promise. Because mm. after, uh, I think I went to primary school in Ellis, I yeah. got the opportunity to go to Dale. There's no soccer. It's either you're playing cricket or rugby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's clear. And dad, quickly, what was his dad play? Your father? He was also Hamba. I don't remember much from actually okay. watching, but uh. when he tells the story, yes. When he tells a story, he was a mourner stain. Hey. Oh, okay, Scoop hey, yes. yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Go forward. Yeah. Get, get the foot to the front. Yeah. Keep yeah. the boys happy. Yeah. <laughs> if they go forward, they're happy. Uh, yeah. Yes. So it's in the family, eh? Yeah? Nines and tens in the family. Yeah, yeah. he says it was a ten. I, I don't remember, but I was oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was still a uh, very young lad, too. But uh, he says he was a ten. Yes. More for kicking ten. Uh, kicking team. Yeah. You know what? It's always funny eh, when, when, and, and uh, sorry, Daddy, um, I'm going to expose you here. Hey, on, on, hey, hey. They always tell the great stories. It's never, it's never a memory where they were struggling <laughs> or had a poor game <laughs> or, or they were bad at something. It's always, yes, we played that game and we won. And it, my days. So. My days, I did this and this, and this is how we prepared for the mm. game. I find it quite strange that the they same. never have any bad memories. Yeah. We're going to be the same. You gotta be like, so. hey, guys, can watch up YouTube, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the No, yes. Um, so, Nelly, Dale first. Mm. Dale primary Junior. school. Yeah, Dale okay. Junior, yeah. And That's then? Um, yeah, I was at, at Davidson Primary, so it's a primary in Ellis. Okay. Um, then we had like a village um, tournament, cricket tournament. Um, one of the uh, Dale coaches picked me up there. Offered me a scholarship to go to Dale. Um, For? Yeah. Oh, what did you start there? Huh? Yes. Ah, yeah. through the covers. Straight, straight spin? Through and around. Straight spin? Yeah, offy. Okay. Oofie. I'll give you a bit of douche. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, um, pick me up there. Um, uh. Grade 7 went to Dale. Um, sure, had a choice to stay at Dale and, or to go to DHS, but I think um, at the time, for my for my for my folks, um, it was a financial decision because um, there's four of us and they're all older. So my parents were paying for uh, tertiary education. Mm, yeah. So then I think DHS was a more financial decision for my parents to so that they don't pay anything. Um, yeah, yeah, went there, um, had a good time. I think that's where I went, uh, where I met Scott Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nelly, no, I'm a cricketer. Um, any provincial, how long did you play cricket till? Actually, a funny story. Um, even at, at DHS, I um, got scouted for cricket. So, yeah. um, then when I was 15, then I didn't crack the case at inside. So, oh. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll try for next year under 17th, mm -hmm. uh, MTN week. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then the next year I made Grand Como to SA um, high performance. So I went back to the school to say I'm, I'm quitting cricket now. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. done. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. Just... They're like, uh, how can you quit cricket now? You're in a cricket scholarship. Just so tough decisions, eh? I knew you had a lot in common. Mm, no, it's, it's... He's got ball skills. Yeah. I was also a cricketer, uh, Mr. Yeah, I was good. a bit of a keeper. I had subtle hands, guys. Yeah. Had, mm. Now you take it with the ball. Yeah, yeah. Nah, uh, mm. Couldn't yeah. hear it. 
My yeah. hands were so soft and gentle, you couldn't hear the, the ball hit my gloves. I, I, I was just thinking, because we, more or less, when there's a spinner, Yes, you know, it's a bit, I was quite subtle on the toes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, cool, when cool. I could see and I could pick it up out of the hand, <laughs> I was quite subtle on the toes <laughs> and I was quickly at the action. <laughs> Loved it. That's where my chirping came from. Oh. Behind the stumps. Oh, behind the stumps. Oh, yeah. behind, the stumps. <laughs> behind the rack now. <laughs> now I'm behind the rack. Um, I was a brilliant chirper. Uh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't score no, 100. No, I know, I know, I know. Couldn't score Maybe. 100 to save my life. Mm. Any 100s in your career? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just one. Just uh, one. one. Yeah. My matric here, I think, uh, with Scott Matthew again, I think, uh, having fun at school. So we had a thing where the first team, we had to play summer sport. So things are a little bit different in Durban, so it's all different sports. And yeah, then, yeah. so first time um, play water polo, but it didn't work out. Um, yeah. I would love to, if, do you have a video of no, water polo? I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, see. <laughs> yeah, and then after played basketball, fourth team, and then the fourth term, the last term of yes. my metric, then we played cricket mm. as the first team rugby. Scored two hundreds. Yes, yes see. Yeah. I was cricket is like. Yeah, it's like you yeah. play for fourths. Yeah, me cricket is that I stopped at Baker's mini cricket, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's where my career stopped. Yeah, you guys, have, you guys have the talent, yeah. Yeah, and then suddenly, obviously, then from the Sharkies, okay, yeah. got an opportunity to go to the Sharks. Obviously, played um, currently for the Sharks as, yeah. as well. Um, did you play when you played currently for the Sharks? Did they sign you to 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 join the senior levels? And what is what was that transition? Um, yeah, no, it was great. Um, I think uh, I went over there when I was when I was 13 only. Mm. So I was there for five years and made a lot of connections, yeah. like with the people around you. Um, still very close to my school and people that I, I met in and amongst that bunch. Mm. So it was an easy decision for me after school to just stay in Durban. Um, love my time in Durban. Um, it was great. Um, I learned a lot um, from the peers. Um, yeah, obviously, um, like the older guys at the time. Um, yeah, the JP Petersons and the boys. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. when you started, it was Michael Klaassen and, and yeah, a lot of old, uh, yeah, yeah. old yeah. age. Yeah. Mm. Schroeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the guys, boys, yeah. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot from them. Even the coaches, even um, Sean Everett, um, the coach that's back now, um, Dave Williams, yes, worked with him. Um, brilliant. Um, yeah, um, I think uh, I learned a lot. I think they they've had a, a very they shaped uh, you a yeah, bit, yeah, 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 yeah. You had good times and good memories, yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, that, it was a great time in Durban. Enjoyed it. Still love to go back there for. Yeah, you know a lot of people, to, you know where to, yeah. yeah. 100%, uh, know where to have a coffee. Mm. Mm. And then the time obviously came up that you had to leave the. What was the yeah. driving factor from moving from the Sharks to the Lions? Was it a tough decision for you, knowing that you spent so much time in Durban, coming to Joburg? No, definitely it was. Um, I think uh, more than anything, I think uh, when the whole thing was happening, there was like, Newspapers and yeah, because I mean that that's yeah, probably yeah. tough with you yeah, know, yeah, Springbox yeah, there yeah, and Granty and G was playing well, mm. Jay was playing well. Um, I think uh, my, my ego is bruised a little bit. Um, yeah, as a, as I think as anyone athlete, uh, athlete, you always have an ego. I think after a while, it, when you take the ego out of the things, then you can actually understand where the coach is coming from. Mm. And then you look at your performances, and then you're like, actually, I, I wasn't on par. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, it was it was something like that where I was when my ego was bruised, and the coach says, you're not playing because X, Y, and Z mm. to say, no, I mean, you know, yeah. it's, uh, you know, it is. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there many so, times. Um, yeah, it, it was something like that. But then after a while, I think it it, it wasn't a tough decision as much because obviously. Um, Jaden and G were playing well, um, top of their game, yeah. and then I just had to find an opportunity, opportunity somewhere, yeah, to somewhere play else. and, yeah, and yeah, get minutes yeah, under your belt. Yeah, that, that's, to, that's to that's shine a little bit. Yeah, yeah it, it was tough leaving, but like 
it wasn't a tough decision to make. Okay. On the rugby, uh, yeah, on the, on the rugby but like lifestyle wise, mm, definitely. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, that's when I actually found out that winter is actually cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been. Like winter is actually mm. cold. No, um, other than that, it was it was an easy decision to make um, to go somewhere just start afresh. Um, um, but it, it was a, a tough decision outside of rugby. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you're so used to it, you were there for a lot of years. You learned yeah. a lot of things, and it actually gave you opportunity to, to play a bit of of gold as well. Hundred you know, percent, yeah. That game at Newlands, yeah. you know. Talk about that game at Newlands. You have SS schools. You played SS schools. A um, a standard twenty coming through. Green and gold, that game, especially at Newlands, you know, playing with all those senior players, you played with Alpin and Yang yeah. on stage, you'd see Akulis and all the World Cup winners around you. Just that feel of getting green and gold in that, and I think it was 2020 in that COVID time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was great. I remember just sitting down on the floor, just going through just the mental side of the game to Elton. Just yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. Come on, get it, get it. yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now I don't know. I must. I, I wasn't overthinking. Now yeah. you're telling. <laughs> yeah, but it was great. Yeah. But like um, having him on my outside and then doing on my inside, uh, you don't really yeah. need to do much. Yeah. No. You just do your to thing, just yeah. link. Facilitator. Just link. Mm. Stay out of the breakdown. Just right? link. Yeah. That's all. And then the opportunity to the Lions, and now he's, he's, he's got a little bit of taste again, green and gold. Yep. He's in, in the camp. He's aligning that camp. Huh? <laughs> 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 no, obviously a crack of the season, like we said. Yeah. Now, we've been hiding you up now at the URC, moving forward. Now you got the opportunity, hey, to to get to to um, work with those guys again, yeah. um, with those coaches again. That feel. Are you excited, you know, getting in there, learning a little bit more? Um, are you proud to, to see what you, what your hard work has done to get that opportunity? What does you feel like? 100%. I was speaking to my dad um, a couple of weeks ago. He was like, he's proud. To, but then I, I just looked at it at, at a different perspective to say, um, the only way that got me there is playing well here. Okay. Um, it's just alignment camps at the moment. So yes. yeah, and I you still have to come back. Mm and perform again. Mm. So that's what I was having a chat with my dad about to say, you were saying I'm proud, of, he's proud of me to say, nah, thank you, but you know, still need to go there, alignment camp, but I kind of have a big head now. Yeah. Mm. You have to come back again, work hard again at the Lions. Playing good rugby again. Play good rugby, then it gives me a shot maybe to get an opportunity. Um, I think for me personally, how I look at it is if, if you play well for a union, you help them win games, especially big games. And I think you, you put your best foot forward for selection yeah. at the highest level, so... That's, that's great, man. It, it, that's important stuff, to control yeah. what you can control. 100%. Yeah. And the consistency, obviously, of, of your performance has been in such a nature that I, th I, I believe it will continue for the rest of the season. I've got a two-prompt question. Mm. Two. Yeah. Mm. Too prompt. That's a big word to me, guys. Okay, Rakas. Yeah. Massive. I'm I'm growing. Not, <laughs> not here, but vocabulary. <laughs> uh, two prompt questions, sir. Future. What does the future look like for Sanele Nohamba? Second part of the question is, um, it's about the Lions for the season. What is the Lions, your group? What is, What are your ambitions as a group yeah, going into the the, the the knockout stages and the the yeah, the um, Champions, Champions Cup. Cup. Uh, yeah, 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 so you know we'll that talk about awesome. Sanele's future and then we want to talk about the Lions. What are you guys, where do you want the guys want to go? What is the target? What are the goals? I think the future for me is uh, I'm committed to the Lions um, till um, whatever, you know, how things work. Um, mm. Committed, want to play well for them, want to win games for them. Um, and, and, and as for the group, uh, it's easy. Mm. Top eight. Yeah, that's the goal. Top eight, playoffs. yeah. Obviously guess, playoffs, but yeah, 100%, you start, um, start the top eight in yes, the playoffs. Yeah. Mm. Um, the last two seasons where, where I'm here, like we didn't get to that level. Um, I think that's what we're aiming for, playoffs. Um, you know, getting to play those big games, you know what I mean? You, you've been there before. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tunnel vision. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, I think uh, as, as a whole team, I think, Playoffs is definitely like one thing we we were aiming for, um, and we actually spoke about it um, last week. They said, "Boys, we lost a couple in a row. Mm -hmm. This is where we decide now. Mm. 
So you might think. Yeah, you can either go this way or that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what you want to be? Turned out pretty great this weekend, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 40, 10, they, they, okay. They, they, they're moving slowly, but yeah. sure. Huh? Yeah. They, 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 but the storm was at the back here. No. The, the 11th on the lock, storm was at 9, so everyone, is, everyone is trying to. And the bullet? Hey, 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 hey guys, hey, um, this is not about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I couldn't even relax and watch the game. You know, it's uh, all in my ear, but yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah. In Afrikaans, they say, uh, as your beard, okay? Uh, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's our time to sign yeah, when you have flowers, okay? Uh, hmm? so, right. but but there's a lot but, of rugby still to be yeah, played, so I'm going to be humble about it. Playoffs yeah, in June and in July. Right. I apologize. Huh? Yeah, it's still. All the action comes in June and July. Yeah. When it's the playoffs time to see where the boys end up. Um, and that's going to be important, especially for you now. You guys have a, a break now, and then you've got three tough games, away games, four, uh, four tough ones yes, coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's most of them is away. Um, all of them are away. All of them are away. Yeah. So um, you, you're looking forward to that because you said now the guys must decide what the plan is. And you're looking 11th, and like if you look at the guys on top of you, it's like three, four points yeah. difference. You excited for this new chapter and a challenging chapter? Yeah, 100%. I think if you look at our how we've been playing, um, we tore very well. Mm. Mm. And then we slip one or two, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I think it, it also takes the group a little bit tight. And, yeah, yeah, you, you got know, time with each other, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm. Tuesday dinner out mm. and then Sunday. Mm. Make it to the old, stuff yeah. is here. Yeah, yeah it, it, it just on makes... a Fortnite PlayStation. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah but, uh, he's, he's a character. Yeah. Well. So I think um, besides the travel, uh, I think regardless where you play, I think it, mm. it brings the group a little bit mm. tighter. Tighter. Yeah. I think um, then that's where you see the care for the guy next to you. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I try to. Put a little grabber yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Charge down with yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I really apologize for that, but we are extremely yeah, happy on board. Yeah. Um, um, I actually have got one last question. It's going to be about height, guys. Ooh, Sometimes we've got to talk about our length in life. Um, Mom is a guest. No, 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 guy. No, don't be that guy. Okay, but crack on. Crack on. Yeah. I mean, actually, this, this question is going to come to you. Uh, hey. um, <laughs> don't put me in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's the tallest between huh? the two of us? Huh? The tallest. Tallest, go. Ha, man, from the. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't pick me. <laughs> no, it's, it's, all, it's all in good nature, man. Uh, Sanelli, um, thank you for your time. Um, enjoy the alignment camp. Um, the, the away games, um, I, I really wish and really hope the Lions can make that top eight. I think it's important for South African yeah. rugby that every like our rugby is strong. Get three in there. Mm. Um, this is a fantastic stadium. I love the stadium, obviously, as I told you before we started. So really all the best for the season. Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully we can see you in the green and gold. Yeah, hopefully I can see you for you that time. Um, love the way you play, Manier, and yeah. have a fantastic week. 100%. And are you a rocker? Are you subscribed? Are you subscribed? 100%. Okay, uh, so, 100%. okay, okay, okay. okay. Every, every episode. episode. Every, every, every episode. Ah, we love that, yeah. Thank you, and Manier. guys, that is Sanele Nohamba. Wow, partner, eh? Sanele Nohamba. Yes, yes. Fantastic to catch up with him. Just to know, you know these youngsters these days, he's 25 years old, he's achieved a lot. Yes. And he went through a lot. You know, coming from Ellis, Ellis in Wonderland, coming oh, from a small okay, town okay, in Eastern okay. Cape. Yeah, it's just fantastic to see what his mindset is, mm. how he looks at the game, how he thinks about the game, and I, I enjoy that. And just, mm. you know, obviously once we spoke to him, partner, the first thing I picked up is how relaxed he is. Mm. Sitting there calm, the way he conducts himself is the is what we can see on the field yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. He's relaxed, he's got time. Um, really awesome. I wanted to have him on for so long. So long, yes, yeah, I'm a big admirer. From, yeah. mm. Rakas, I'm a massive admirer yeah. of Sanele Noamba. I might come in small packages, hey. eh? Pounds of the... Pounds for him. So stunning. I wish we had more yeah. time, mm. partner. And, and his, his backyard at this place in an iconic stadium like Emirates Airline um, Park, a place where he scores unbelievable tries, a place where he, he kicks unbelievable pressure, conversions and penalties. It's just amazing to see. I do not what he will. He is so Rakas, do not what he will. Okay. Yeah, that's um, fantastic, yeah. But Pari? Mm. Is it, is, it, is it results time? Yeah. Uh, you want to get there. Why, why in a rush? I don't uh, want hey, you to get into hey, a rush. Hey, Rakers, this guy. Um, huh? Rakers, I want to mm. talk about what you want to hear, okay? Yeah. Uh, get to that results. The, okay, first up, so obviously we had, uh, let's go to our the main game. The okay. two of us, we had um, Blue Bulls, Vodacom Bulls against the DHL Stormers at five o'clock. It was actually six, six o'clock. o'clock. Okay. Uh, yes, <laughs> we had to six. wait for a lot of uh, thunders in the rain. I was surprised because usually it looked like this. It was sunny for, for one Beautiful second. Day. At five o'clock, looking at the kickoff, it looks like it's going to start and then all of a sudden, the rain came down. Slight right? drizzle. Slight drizzle, yeah. Mm. So the scenery was fantastic. It was just amazing to see 50,000 oh, people coming out, sold out enjoying that game. Um, you know, I, I, I think we've done a lot. I'm, I mean, Brighter have done a lot. The official associate sponsor of the Vodacom Bulls and, and DHL uh, Stormers to making that game a good, iconic type of battle, clash. Um, I, 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 the, the most, the most f- exciting part yeah. about it, partner, was the, the build-up and the hype the game matched it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You understand? Yeah. There was such a the big people, build up to get mm. to, to fill Loftus, um, and obviously the people came out there. Mm. There was an hour delay with a bit of rain, yeah. and then the magic happened. The, the magic, magic happened. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Hey, a fantastic game. Oh, the Bulls, they, they came out fighting, and they came out wow. The first 20 minutes, they put uh-huh. it under pressure. Usually when we're from, from Cape Town, mm-hmm. um, we always say the first 20 minutes, they're going to come out firing, put uh-huh. us under pressure, and that's what they did. Okay. They started well. I don't want to stop you. Yeah, continue. the first two you minutes, sound they, so came, beautiful they came out the block, but I, I credit to the Bulls, you know. You know, especially that type of game, it was yeah. a wet game. Um, rain came down, um, they had to change their plan like 20, 30 minutes before kickoff. Um, more tries was fantastic. You guys did well in that department. And, and, and shout out to Goosen to as well for getting those penalties. It was three points, six points, nine points. And that just keep the scoreboard ticking. Put us under pressure a little bit. But yeah, and now it's 7-1. It's 1-1 for the year. Right? Hey, partner. So no more seven I, ups. You, you, you want I, I, more partner, seven ups? Uh, uh, partner, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna live in the past, Rakers. Okay, I'm just gonna talk about this Saturday's game. Yeah. And this Saturday's game, the Bulls were on fire, guys. Yeah. The Bulls were brilliant. We came out of that first 20 minute block. We played the conditions perfectly. Mm, mm, um, we didn't overplay in our own half. We didn't overplay any rugby. Um, we kicked really well, of course. Yeah, yeah, Contestable yeah. kicks. Um, just applied pressure onto the Stormers. Yeah. Um, 
um, mm. the, that first mall try we mm. scored, we got That's momentum nice. and we got our points. Mm. Entry into the 22, we got our points from it. I must say there were certain stages in the game, partner, um, when they did take the shot for three points, I kind of was like, yes, why don't we go for the corner? Yeah, yeah, there was I was greedy. And it was like long shot, uh, 50 meter. I was very greedy uh, there mm, in mm. the stands. I was like, let's go for the corner. But obviously Jake and the boys, they and know a little bit more yeah, than yeah, me. Yeah. Mm. They definitely know a little bit more than me. It mm. paid off those three points, just that scoreboard pressure. Yeah, 19-5 um, and then you had to fight back again. It was always tough. And the kicking game credit, you must go to the kicking game, especially Goosen. You know, <laughs> they, they didn't hover around too much in their own territory. You know, even um, Papier as oh, well. Papier, Ambrose, Papier, oh, Papier. Oh, Technical I need 10 sticks. minutes for Ambros at the moment. Uh, 10, 10 minutes, minutes for Ambros. You're to throw flowers at Ambrose, him, right? I need a, a lot. Yo, yo, yo. Bright light flowers, lot. everything yeah, for Ambros yeah. Papier. <laughs> um, Ambros, yeah, he made a massive difference. And not only his technical game, okay, that is his basics, but he's, he's, he's all around, you know, being around the park, he's fast, he's elusive, you know, he's there, he's, he scores, uh, he's at the end of tries. Those type of things makes him special. Well, we on, mm. on, 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 on Ambros, obviously, the thing that stood out to me, partner, especially from a scrum up point of view, um, how well he played in those conditions, mm. um, from a basic point of view. His passing ruckus was yeah, excellent. Was excellent yeah. um, his kicking for me was the point of difference in that game. 100%, yeah. Because if um, you look at it, two tries actually came from those kicks. Kurtley Irons's a couple of th um, times on, on, on that side. He got, he got ball, you know. He, he wanted clash in the air and that's what Kurtley got and he got those two uh, turnovers. So he definitely gave Kurtley enough time to mm. compete, which is a, a thick Ambrose, stunning man. Mm. His kicks was on the money, every kick. I, I, I don't think there was a kick partner that I thought was mm. either too long or, or too or short. Too short. Yeah. And, that's a so, um, mm. and especially, and I know big games, Kicking of nine is important. That's important Kicking yeah. well of nine mm. is important. Yeah, yeah. And then the weather, obviously, it was more important. And did Ambrose Papier play with? I love with. it, eh? Yes, he yeah. ticked all the boxes. Man, yeah. The only box we want Rassi to tick is to get him into ah, the squad. Geef man. Man. Geef man. Geef man. Maak die op. Eh, hij to, hij klop hij klop, hij klop, en hij klop hard. En hij klop hard. Hij is nog mijn score voor klop. All the nines, hij klop hard. Ik weet niet wat aangaan. It is 90s and 2000 babies. Is oh, the 80 babies. Uh, 80 babies, <laughs> definitely not. Um, <laughs> mm. yes. But yeah, overall, and there's a lot of uh, standout players, especially from the Bulls' point of view. Um, you know, you had Kurtley Ar the Springboks to deliver. Yeah. Uh, in crucial times, Kurtley Arens, uh, fantastic under the high balls, and that's crucial turnovers, you know. Contestable kicks, that's only in your own half. That stuff you need to take. Um, Kane and Moody uh, and on, on form. Even the guys like um, William made a difference when he uh, got um, on. You know, the bomb squad made a massive difference. The Zamkas while stabling the ship. You Bullet. Know. Bullet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he did well. Um, but yeah, so much praise must go to this forward pack, getting you go forward. Because I mean, the, the, the more tries you guys scored put us under massive pressure. And um, I, must, I must say, yeah. Uh, Quick question I've got mm. for your partner. Before the game, I know you were quite um, strong on the fact that uh, the technical side of the game yeah. was going to be important. Um, obviously, the Bulls didn't play as much rugby as we thought, yeah, but that yeah. was because smart, of, yeah. of, the, the of the conditions. Mm. Technically, did you think the Bulls just played a little bit better than the Stormers? Um, what was your thoughts on that? I, I think so, because obviously we, we came out to a warm-up and it was sunny like this. <laughs> so you have to change, you've got an hour to change your, your, your mindset. I'm thinking, listen here, the clouds came over, the rain came down. So now you have to change the game plan within an hour. Stuff that you maybe didn't prep throughout the, the week. Yes. So I wasn't too sure if the Stormers did prep uh, for the weather conditions, but you guys were clinically on song, especially looking at the Stormers. We're a team that wants to run the ball. Yes. So it's tough for us to come here, listen here, move the, the big back forwards, bulls forwards around, and now all of a sudden, 20 minutes before the game, you have to change your tactics. Um, I must say, the, the bulls played a little bit smarter in that aspect. They didn't okay. mess around in the half. Goosen, even if it's straight down into the middle, putting, trying to uh, get the ball bouncing with Warwick Geland. Warwick Geland did actually well. He had a fantastic game um, when we get to the Stormers right now. Now, but I must say, clinically, the Bulls, they tick the box on just moving, playing the chess game, the puzzle yeah. game, you know. Um, the, the, the scrums are solid as well. We got a couple of good scrums, uh, penalties. That was uh, fantastic to see. I mean, Wilco uh, coming back made a big difference, especially in the first half when it comes to scrums. Um, and then the, the line-outs also, you guys put us under massive pressure. We'll get into the Stormers. I don't know if it's good contesting with, from the Bulls' point of view, or was it just a little bit of error with the line-out calling or the line-out throwing out? Yeah, on, on the game, obviously, the first scrum mm. was only in the 20th or 21st minutes, which was quite impressive, mm. especially in a game where um, 
it's rain and the, the, the grass was slippery obviously because of the delay, the rain delay. So I was quite impressed by both teams and how they've managed to to hold on to the ball mm. and, and the error rate was low. So that was stunning. Um, yeah. Then obviously the Stormers, um, I don't know if yeah, the, the delay was... Um, yeah, with different tactics, because uh, obviously with the hour delay uh -huh. of the game, it's massive. And then we came out like 20 minutes before the time, we didn't see the Bulls. So the, uh -huh. bulls, were, the bulls were warming up outside, but before the game, they were warming insi up inside. We came out just to feel the conditions a little bit. But um, I must say, there was moments, it was quite, a, even though the score says 40-22, uh, it was still, there was moments that it could have gone either way. It was, uh -huh. Clinical moments inside um, um, the Bulls' half, liner throwing, not going, uh, not accurate enough, five meters away. Um, crucial moments here and there, penalties. Um, but I must say, we started slow, and when we started slow, especially the first half, we gave away like seven to eight free kicks or penalties, and you can't start a game like that. And that's where Hoosens has got the, the scoreboard ticking, and um, discipline played a massive. Um, um, a role into it, but uh, it would be awesome. There was a couple of good when it comes to key players. Warwick played well, some of the other boys played well, but it would, would have been nice to see other boys, you know, gelling with them, getting into the game a little bit more because some boys were a little bit more quiet. You know, would love to see a little bit more from um, maybe Damien Willems, uh, you know, getting a ball in hand, getting in behind as he did well uh, a couple of times. But, but, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of players that, that um, you know, stand out in, in, in that aspect, but it's a good change of, 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 of what happened on, on, on five o'clock, yeah, six uh, o'clock. Six o'clock. Um, for me, obviously, Warwick was outstanding. Mm. I thought he, he actually got the Stormers into the game at certain stages um, throughout that game. He was brilliant. Um, I was quite surprised in the physicality that the Bulls had applied, applied on the Stormers. On it, yeah. um, obviously, the 23rd of December when the, the guys played at, at, at Greenpoint Stadium, um, the, the, the Stormers actually applied that physical pressure onto the yeah, Bulls. And, yeah. and this time around, we changed that. Um, and I thought that dominance we had physically was actually the trend for the game. Mm. And um, that set the tone for the game. Yes, throughout the game. Um, I, I know you believe that the Stormers had opportunities. Yeah, to we get, had lots of opportunities. Um, uh, Ruckus, I, I don't obviously. Know what game you, you watch, you can't only watch the one team. Ruckus, yeah. um, uh, obviously, that's wishful thinking. We uh, all know it, it <laughs> happens in life. Um, you want your team to do well. But mm. I think from minute one to minute 80, the Bulls had total control. Um, there was a bit of nervous times, but that was because of the record, the 7-0 mm. that you guys the had. 7-0, yeah. Yes, yes, um, yes. We had an opportunity. We, uh, when you, you know in pool, you've got the eight ball, the black one. Yeah. We had the opportunity to shoot that ball, but we missed. Yeah. No, no, the, but, you had uh, opportunity uh, um, in the week, but not on Saturday in the 80 minutes, <laughs> because the Bulls had none of that. Um, but yeah, there was a it, few moments, the, the knock-on that Ivan Roos had. Mm, yeah, um, that in was, the second that half, was clinical moments. That was a, a big moment, a momentum moment. Shifting moments, yeah. Um, so if the Stormers might have gotten themselves back mm. into the game there. Uh, I know Mani, the longer the game goes on, if, if, if the Stormers can find a way to be in the game, Mani will find a way oh, to oh, win oh. the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think the Bulls did really well there to keep them out in certain stages. Two lineouts, mm. um, entries into the Bulls where the Stormers yeah, didn't get the lineout. Right. Crucial mistakes mm. from the Stormers side, um, which obviously as a Bulls supporter, yeah. quite happy yeah, about you it. you would obviously be happy, yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, uh, the scoreboard didn't reflect the way the game actually went about. Um, I must say, we so had, you're, you're we saying had opportunities. Should have been more. I, I felt like the last 10 minutes, um, it could have gone, gone either way. The, the last five to, to seven minutes, that's when you guys actually sealed the game. Um, we gave silly, silly, uh, unforced uh, mistakes that co actually cost us, you know. Um, Ambrose Papier put it, putting it, the, the ball in the air, it's a contestable, the ball gets knocked and kicks through, it's Kane and Moody at the other end. Otherwise, we're trying to run because we're behind, we're forcing it out of our own 22, loose passes, you know, Ambrose Papier kicking it through, scoring at the end. So those two tries actually just turned the knife for us in the last, uh, last five to seven minutes. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident about the way we're playing. Uh, I, I've seen the same type of stuff throughout the whole season. Um, if there's anything, it could be maybe our lineups that we need to fix as soon as possible. I don't know if it's the, the calling, the throwing, or those type of things, but that, that's an area yeah. we, we need and to cover. The, and, we're and, the last two to talk and, about the Yeah, lineup. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have our <laughs> um, ex, um, expertise on that. 
But yeah, th those moments. But I, I felt there were stages when the, the, the storm was run, um, some good um, ball. We, the first time was a little bit slow, getting the ball yeah. wide and, and, and fast, especially of breakdown. Um, when Paul De Wit maybe uh, came on the last 20 minutes, the, the, the ball started moving around. and uh, running, definite, and, definite uh, momentum. momentum. You guys shift, got yeah. momentum and speed um, into your game. Speed into the game, yeah, and it made a big difference just to get the uh, uh, forwards forward. Because you need that force to, to go forward, and it makes a big difference in getting momentum and scoring some tries. Um, but uh, part, I'm going to be mm. totally honest. Obviously, I'm I'm ruckus, I'm ecstatic. The Bulls won. Um, it, it it was such a dominance that the Storm has had over yeah, yeah. South African teams. Obviously, with 15 consecutive games that they won. Um, so obviously, I'm relieved that the Bulls won. But one game doesn't make the Storm as a bad team. So I'm not going to stand here and talk yeah. about that they not. They're yeah, still going to yeah, be yeah. top the, six. Mm. They're still going to have home playoffs. They're still a brilliant rugby team. I mean, the Stormers, that last 20 minutes, they obviously showed the, 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 the attack, the KBA keeping the ball yeah. alive Could approach that they want, that, that Cape Town Count people that want, to, that want to see. So um, the Stormers will what, bounce back, mm. no doubt about it. They probably bounce back quickly. Mm. Yeah, they have to. We have to. We have to yeah. because we got a, a tough couple of games coming up. We've got Edinburgh coming down. We've got Ulster coming down. Then we've got La Rochelle coming down as well. So yeah, it's going to be a cracker of a time moving up to uh, up to this playoff time. Yeah. And hopefully, when we um, when all goes well, we can have this North South derby again in the quarterfinals, semifinals, and maybe finals. Because that would be nice. Be because in my mind, it's one one, isn't it? For the year. It is 1-1. One, one. Okay, exactly. Uh, okay. So it would be <laughs> nice to see uh, that game. We need a rematch of that. And it's so fantastic to, especially um, Bright Rock, the official associate sponsor yeah. of the Vodacom Bulls and the DHL um, Stormers, getting us together on a weekend like this. Obviously, we had our fights. Okay? And now it's over. And now it's over, so we're moving on. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, when Martis plays UJ in the final, we'll get back to uh, our, our, our class. UJ's be tight. Okay. <laughs> Um, so buddy, awesome. mm. but there was a game before, obviously, yeah, the yes. North-South derby. Mm. Um, At 3 o'clock, yeah. And, and yeah, he, he was, this is where Hamba and Edwin Merwe did his um, things. Crappy. Yeah, crappy and the boys did their thing. Um, incredible. Um, yo, I don't know, there's a lot of questions around uh, the black and white team, uh, the boys from Durban. But uh, let's go quickly to the, to the Lions, first of all. Lions, fantastic rugby. Yeah. Fantastic rugby, with 40 points, 40-10 against... Um, the, the Sharks, the Hollywood bet Sharks, it's incredible. And in a um, derby game, partner. In a derby game like South this. African derby game, you, never, you don't really see mm. that scoreline. Mm. Um, obviously, it was fantastic to see 23,000 people yep. at the yes, Emirates yes, Airline yes, Park. Filling up this, the students coming out, the people coming out, and we must just keep on going. Yeah. Uh, keep on uh, going because this team, like, they, they can see the people from Johannesburg, the people in and around um, um, the stadium. Come out, support the boys, because when you do come out and you support them, they can hear it, and obviously... And the results and, reflect. And the results will reflect, yeah. Um, Ruckus, obviously, uh, mm. the Lions um, have told us the parking is free at Johannesburg Stadium. Students, mm. yeah, this hey. is the place to be weekends, okay? Mm, yes, yes, you can come, come study out. here as well if you wanted to. <laughs> do your thing, yeah? Is it? But get here, okay? Yeah, let's fill up. Mm. Um, obviously, they they on, a, on the charts for top eight position, yeah. mm. let's make sure when they play at home that they feel that support, they feel that spirit, our rugby is in such a great, great state, yeah, so no. don't sit at home, okay? Mm. Get yourself to Edmunds Ellis yeah. Park, they've made sure they've upgraded the security and the safety for you guys, so come and enjoy rugby at this magnificent yeah, facility. facility, fantastic, and hopefully we can get more tickets to do. Yeah. We, we, we got them a couple of weeks but ago. But it's Rakers and Jobuk. Yeah, it's, well, they like, share and subscribe. Exactly, man. Uh, yeah. Hopefully in Art, 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 Artica as well, eh? like I said, not Art, Art really. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a fantastic game. Hey, um, what, what's your thoughts on, on, on how the Lions got on top of uh, the Sharks? The Sharks, obviously, they were missing a couple of players. Uh, Bongi is back. Bongi was captain. You had um, Lukani Am was in there. And Pimpi was yeah. in there. There was a couple of new faces. Um, so uh, you could say uh, it wasn't full strength, but um, the No, we can never say that, yeah. partner. Um, I actually don't want to talk so much about the Sharks. Mm. I, and I want to give, give the credit to the Lions. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. I mm. think um, it's obviously a young group. Um, their performances has not been lucky. They, we've so be, we've mm. been seeing that from the beginning of the year. They've actually missed a few games in the beginning of the year that they should have won, and they probably would have been in the top eight mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, yeah, close games, yeah. mm. those box that got rewarded for Rashi mm. has played well in this game. Played well, yeah. Krappi came off the bench, wow. excellent. Mm. Sanele started at nine, brilliant, brilliant. as always. The try he scored is absolutely stunning. Yeah? Huh? I, I should have asked him, eh? Because it, it, it looked like he dummied the knock. And then he picked it up and it's like... Uh, it 
So it's try, it's try yeah. looks like, you know, in the beginning of year as a school, yeah. when you're school light and you got those toughies and you polish them. Yeah. I think like most moody is the dark. That's how much a try can like it. Yeah. So, um, so well, nearly, moments like that makes a big difference. You know, scoring a try like that, getting them forward but, as soon as possible. And it's actually and it's, the kick. I oh, think it was boom. right here where we're standing. Yes. Where you find I, the space. It, yeah. Is it? I wanted to taste that if it's, it was this moment around here, putting it in the corner there, and then um, but we're just scoring in the corner. Oh. So, um, their tries was really sublime. Mm. I think um, there was a lot of X factor in the way they play. I mean, when Sanele spoke to us earlier, yeah. he spoke about freedom. He spoke mm, about understanding the balance between kicking and running, ball in hand, ball yeah. in hand approach. Um, so they are on a brilliant track. Yeah, they're on a brilliant track. Yeah. So they just keep keep going forward. I know they've got a tough couple of games coming up. Yes. Oh, if they've got four away away uh, games against um, yeah, this Connacht and and, and Scarlets and Leinster boys, but. But yeah, they're looking good. I would like to see them just playing, you know, ch um, Champions Cup next year. Yeah, yeah. I think I think um, when we obviously spoke to him, Paddy, mm. I think that is that is where they wanna be. Yeah. I think they've got ambitions and dream to play the big teams, playing Stormers in the Investing Champions yeah, Cup, yeah, yeah, playing yeah. the Laros Shells, playing the Sail Sox. Mm. So I think they they're on the right track. They've secured the future. Mm. The Love yeah, yeah, and the Beckham stars mm. have secured the future of Lions Rugby. Um, so they are on a fantastic track. Fantastic, fantastic. Hello, Jalno. Yeah. Hello, Mark. Hello, Hello. Hello. Good to stay. No, all is connected. Hey, <laughs> yeah. And that's important, yeah. Anything um, on the Sharks part now? Yeah, for, for me, uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff they need to probably look at um, moving forward. I, I really don't know what's going on at the moment, but yeah, it doesn't look good. It's, it's only one win for the whole season. And then sure. if you have names like that on a paper, as maybe it's, it doesn't reflect on, on what the, the expectation is yeah. on, on them. Um, but I, I hopefully just want them to, to get out where they are. Being lost in the lock is not something you want for the Hollywood Bed Sharks. And if they can just get out there, um, get a couple of wins, let Zebra and the boys get behind them. Um, they, they're too much quality side to, to, to sit there uh, yeah. at the end of the day. Um, and, 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 and it's, it's going to be a tough one, partner, to see uh, the next couple of guys, uh, games, because they got a tough couple of games coming up. Maybe, um, obviously, we're not in that situation, we're not part of the group, so we're obviously mm. talking from an outside um, viewpoint. Um, maybe just letting, letting the circles go a bit. Um, yeah. I mean, they, they got their backs against the wall, the only way they can go is up right now. Mm. Maybe just... Change things. Change things. Change this may be good. Let go, play rugby, yeah. have a go, Less have a chip calls, kick, have a... quick tip. Um, I know um, it's, it's easy for us to talk about them. Mm. Um, to turn the corner is always tough. Yeah. As long as the spiral goes, it's, it's tough to get out of that. And, that and rugby is such a game, um, before, we, before we move on, winning is a habit, mm. like the Stormers, the Stormers know how to win, but also mm. losing yeah. is a habit. Mm. We know that in, in, yeah, in yeah. sport. Um, and to break that habit sometimes is difficult. Mm. Um, but we are hoping, obviously, from a South African point of view, South African team, the that they will turn the corner. Yeah, 100%, yeah. So we covered the good games, and, and, and thank you very much, uh, partner, for bringing up here. Uh, it's Gauteng is in a great place. You know, the Bulls got their victory. Yes. The Lions got their victory. Yes. So it's just winning flavor. I smell winning in the air in Gauteng and, and everywhere. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's fantastic for South yes. African rugby to see the crowds coming out, especially here at Emirates Airline Park and also at Loftus Versfeld, which is incredible. Yes. Man, yeah. and, and hopefully they're gonna have a couple of weeks off now, so two weeks off now two weeks off. before we uh, get going again. Um, yeah, hopefully they can rest up. And uh, the box, if they need to work, because July is waiting. Uh, Island, is waiting. Back, 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 back. Island is waiting. Island is waiting. Back, 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 back. Loft is first felt. Yes. Okay, cool. Hopefully we'll, we'll be there. But yeah, the <laughs> prep for the for the boy kids that's going on at camp. All the best. Um, they must just, you know, learn from with the senior players. Put your best foot forward. Yeah, show Rassi. Hey. It's not, it's not a fluke what's happening in between here in the block, you have the TV. Put your best foot forward. forward. Yeah, so that's good for on, on the results. Um, done. And then next up, obviously, it's our Lula bet predictions. No, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get cracking. And the Six Nations is back. Okay. Yeah? That's so you are see gives, gives the opportunity, then Six Nations say, okay, I'll take this opportunity now. And that's, that's how it goes, yeah. So there's, a, there's a couple of games coming up. Mm? Saturday, we have two games and one on Sunday. Okay. So on Saturday, we've got Italy versus Scotland, and that is quarter past four. Okay. Uh, four, yes. we'll, we'll have that one in mind now, and then straight after we'll have England, e England against Ireland. Yes. At quarter to seven. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be a crack of a game, and then the last one is Wales France at five o'clock Sunday. So uh, quickly, just overview on Italy Scotland. Italy it's, Scotland. It's no brainer. Um, pretty of much. Italy, it's all about Italy the score. Italy got a, a draw against France in the last game, mm. but I don't think they're going to win. I'm going to go Scotland by ten. 
Yeah. I think Scotland will be too good. It will put up a good fight, but Scotland by 10 I, for I me. I agree. I will go Scot Scotland by 15. I mean, it's an important game for them to get five points. Yes. Um, reason, um, because they're playing Ireland the following week. Yes. And I think the Grand Slam is going to be on that game. Okay. Scotland versus I uh, Ireland, because I think S Ireland is going to be the uh, Scotland is going to be the only team to beat, uh, okay. to beat them so and stop them. So, Scotland by 15? Scotland okay, by 15, I'm going to go Scotland yeah. by 10. Yes, and then the next game, obviously, England versus Ireland. Um, Ireland by Ireland is flying 12. high. Ireland by 12. Yes, I agree with the team. England is, mm, don't know where to find <laughs> themselves. They're struggling, they don't know who's who. Um, so, they've got a couple of things that they need to think at. So, yeah, I agree with you, Ireland. What did Score. you say, 12? 12 points, yeah. I agree with you, for some reason. I don't agree too much, especially this weekend. I yeah. don't agree on a well, lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> but on this one, I'll agree with I you. Ireland so by 12, no? Yeah, okay, 12, that's yeah. good. If, if it might be more. The last um, one? And then the last one, Wales versus France, and that's at 5 o'clock on Sunday. Um, tough one. Tough one? Ah, it's because problem. Yeah, there's, there's a spark plug missing, the, yeah. point, the point that spark the plug... Will it lick? Yeah. <laughs> will it tap the ground? Yeah, but I would still give him <laughs> the, the, the credit. Uh, even though it's it's a tough one, even though they're playing um, in Wales, I'll still give France the credit of getting one over Wales, and I would go with um, I, um, England, um, France, with seven points. I'm I'm going to back France as well because obviously mm. I played a little bit, so I know the emotional side. They they will they will be hurting from that Italy um, scoreline. Um, I'll go. I think it's tough. Wales is a difficult side yeah, to play, especially at home. Fr mm. But France by six. By six. France by six points. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to be a beautiful game of rugby, but I'll go with France by six yeah. points. So we agreed on all three teams? Yeah. Yes, so we're back, uh, we're agreeing now. Yeah, this it's weekend, really luck. Yeah, this Welcome weekend. to Gauteng, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's fantastic. That's our Lula bit um, prediction. Yes. Is amazing. Fantastic show. Excellent. Ah, it was, I was so excited to have a chat with uh, the Rakers, Rakers, and they're probably wondering, oh, these boys are walking now. They're not sitting on the couch. Yeah. They, they, every time it's something different. I say, keep them guessing. guessing. I um, <laughs> Rakers, quickly, um, I want to make a special mention. Um, behind the rack is powered by Kruger yeah. International Asset and Wealth Management. We are also so grateful for Lulabet, our mm. exclu exclusive betting partner. Part, yeah. And this week and the past two weeks especially, Bright Rock oh, for bringing wow, us together. Yeah. Bringing us together, connecting us. Because if it wasn't for them, you might have a blow <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's incredible. Great job from Bright Rock, you know. Obviously, they're sponsoring the official associate sponsor of the Blue uh, Vodacom Bulls and the DHL Stormers. For them to have this occasion, bringing filling up Loftus, hashtag fill up Loftus, getting us two tickets as well after everyone wanted tickets was incredible to see. Yes. And hopefully, we've done our job. We like just to be part of it. Yeah. I, I felt it was it was good to see. I've never experienced it. FOMO. That. Yeah. I, I want to be invited every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've, my first time going around the stadium, you know, in the tent. Awesome. Um, after the game, we had a couple of um, cold ones with the boys as well. Yeah, ones. yeah, And that's that's rugby culture. Absolutely. Uh, teams connecting. Um, after the game, you got the Stormers, the management that came around, a couple of players came around with the Bulls family, you know, and that's what rugby is all about. Rugby is strong in South Africa oh, at the moment. Uh, crowds are coming out, especially at Emirates Airline Park, especially at Loftus, uh, Fersfeld. At home, the mm, HL Stadium. Yeah. We're filling it up here. Yeah. So guys, get your tickets. Get there. Okay? Like you share the gossip story of Behind the Rack. It's important to share uh, who's playing this weekend yeah. and, and what's going to happen. Let's, let's uh, Rudy and, and Joanna. Rugby Rudy. is mm. healthy in our country again, everyone. And we mm. are extremely happy about it, yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But then lastly, before I mm. say goodbye to the Ruckers, yep. Ruckers, we were driven this week by Cherry, South Africa, mm, okay? Cherry. So we were mm. driving around. When I turned my Cherry, mm. Cherry was speaking to me, mm, okay? Mm. When I was sitting down, it was a little bit cold. Yes. I could press yes. and the heat would I come out. I was in the passenger seat uh -huh. with a bucket of cherries. Okay. Because okay, I'm keeping <laughs> the Cherry vibe alive, okay? You know what it is, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, awesome. Amazing, eh? I was, that's my first time in a Cherry and oh, wow. Stunning. Did they, no uh, they knocked me off they, my, off my feet. feet. Okay. I was like, you know, keep it rolling. I was in that vibe That's for a second. But I had to put my seat down. Yeah, it's important, yeah. yeah. And mama, I used to. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. It's All good things. things has come to an end. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Um, <laughs> okay. Guys, I am Rudy Pates. I'm Joanne de Jong. And the uh, rock is clear. Yeah.